What is up guys, it's Tempest HQ, and what I'm bringing you guys today is a Type 100 V2 Rocky gameplay, and I got this V2 Rocky pretty late, so, you know, you might have to stick around at the end for that V2, but, uh, and I am love the right Type 100, and the Type 100 in general, because the Type 100 really does have moderate recoil, and it treats the gun like it's... An assault rifle in my opinion like a carbine and that's what I really like to use I like being able to use a submachine gun when it comes to mid-range fights I can also use this in long-range fights as well because the recoil isn't so bad and it just gives me a huge advantage because this gun is perfectly balanced and I really love it so I want to talk to you guys about today also about Black Ops 3 having a new update, which is Prop Hunt. Prop Hunt is now coming, or it is now out and live on Black Ops 3. So if you guys want to try that out, feel free to. I'm honestly a big fan of Prop Hunt, so I may be able to get it, give it a try. I uninstalled Black Ops 3 recently, so I might have to reinstall it because, you know, I bought God of War and I already finished it. And I really want to keep it on my PS4 because I really still enjoy the game. There's still much to do in the game after you're done beating it. So I might have to decide what to do. Maybe there are some games in my PS4 that needs to be removed that I don't play anymore. Or I just need to finish them and then I'll remove them. But if you guys want to see some Black Ops 3, I could probably live stream some Black Ops 3. I don't really play Black Ops 3 anymore. The last time I played Black Ops 3 was a very long time. Like... Probably in the summer was the last time I played Black Ops 3, so, you know, I was honestly done with that game. I really enjoyed that game. It was, it was a good Call of Duty, in my opinion. I'm not much of a jetpacker. I, I prefer boots on the ground. That's why I play way better than boots on the ground. My KD has been higher, always been better on boots on the ground, so that's the way it is, guys. And honestly, we were just wrecking these guys. Oh my goodness, look at the score, guys. 19-5? to 5? That's crazy, guys. I was just rushing. I had Blitzkrieg on, I always have to have, oh that guy got me there, but I always have to have Blitzkrieg on because the thing about Blitzkrieg, it's so satisfying, it just gives me that good old Call of Duty classic vibe when you're going on a kill streak. you just get a kill streak like that's one, that's two, it, it counts for you instead of you counting for yourself with a score streak, sometimes you might lose count if you're not focusing and this one just keeps track of how you're going, and as long as uh, you're not using lethal kill streaks right now i'm just using uav so i can always know where my enemies are at and it's really helpful guys i really recommend it if you want to go for v2 rockets i i have had chances where i almost got a v2 rocket with the ball turret gunner equipped and also the paratroopers it's just a bit more challenging but uh if you haven't seen my other video that i uploaded it was uh PPS age gameplay on Gibraltar and what I did in that map is that I would just you know Not necessarily respawn trap, but I would just like Keep rushing near their spawn and just wait for them to come and it's a really good tactic because when you gain control of the middle of the map That gives you a huge advantage over your opponents because you are way more prepared over them And once you got that UAV going, you know where all your enemies are and it's easy to just pick them off, you know, because you have so much cover. This look at this cover right here. I'm just sta staying back from behind these pillars and these boxes, and it gives me a good line of sight towards their spawn, and I can just see everybody coming through. And I also watch the stairs. They could come from behind me, but I have to make sure that there's at least a team in there. But that's why I have UAV. That's why UAV is so useful in team deathmatch. And yeah, guys. This gameplay here was honestly kind of easy because, you know, the players here, look at that, I'm already on a Merciless. Uh, they don't really pay attention to their maps. And there's this one guy that I kept playing with. That guy would just keep running straight towards me and it would just make things way easier for me. I'm just getting recon aircrafts everywhere, every time, and it's just a good thing to use. Look at that. I didn't want to let him get away there. So, I also know that there's a new Fortnite update. 
and uh, it's Fortnite season four. It's out right now, and I believe there's like new skins out, and the main menu looks all different. That's the only thing I've noticed. I didn't really look into it yet. I haven't played Fortnite season four yet. I just saw some videos on YouTube. I'm on Ruthless now, and uh, I honestly want to try it. I yesterday just or the other day recently I just got a win and it was pretty cool because I, I haven't played Fortnite in a bit I've been playing a lot of World War 2 just for the V2 rockets and I'm trying to get better at it but uh, I Fortnite right now like man I can still play that game it's just the thing I have to improve is my building and I should probably live stream some more Fortnite guys uh, you know I have some buddies that I play with uh, we play squads together and um, we pretty much have a pretty good chemistry. I mean, two, three, four games playing after you know how many months. Again, we got a win. That that just tells you something. So yeah, here I'm on a 20. I had to rush a spawn because I mean I'm at 68. So this is kind of clutch actually. Look, there was I picked that guy off the back. He was AFK. I run around here. This is why UAV is useful, guys. I keep checking my mini map. They're all over here. See, it gives me quick, easy kills there. Hopefully my teammates doesn't steal a kill from me because I really need this. This guy, he's at the back. He killed my teammate. I got his back. I didn't want to say ass. Oh, I, I did it. Whatever. But uh, two more kills, guys. And I freaking clutched it. So just watch what happens. Watch what happens. I just run into the spawn. And then, there we go. We got the V2 rocket just in time. Just in time. And yeah, that was my most clutch V2 rocket yet. And I got pretty late. But, dude, that last kill, I really needed that. Too bad I couldn't call it in. But that's just how it is. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. And turn on post notifications to keep updated with my videos. I tend to post videos at around noon or around evening, so just stay tuned for that. Depending on where you live, uh, I use Mountain Time, so you know you have to uh, be reminded of that. I have to remind you that it's always Mountain Time, and just convert that to whatever uh, where you live. And usually in America, it's usually an hour back, depending, but. Yeah, guys, um, I honestly don't know what else to say in this commentary. I mean, uh, my KD is almost at 2.40. It should have been, like, way higher at the beginning, but I just didn't take this game that seriously when it first launched. That's why my KD is showing up like that right now. And, uh, I will try to live stream mostly at the evening, so... Yeah, before before I start live streaming, I'll notify you guys. You know, check just check my Twitter or something. Uh, you'll always know if I'm gonna be live streaming or if I upload a video. And yeah, guys, I got so much more gameplay to show you guys, and I can't wait to show you. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>